Welcome back. In this section, we'll be going through the MetaTrader 4 tutorial. Let's start off with a quick overview, then we'll dig deeper into all of the features and functionality in MetaTrader 4. From the top left, you'll notice controls and buttons to help you make adjustments to your software. On the second line, you'll notice different custom features and indicators that we can add to our charts, and then time frames that we can set our charts to. A little bit further down on the left is the market watch bar. Now in the market watch bar, you can see all of the different currencies you're going to want to trade, along with bid and ask pricing. Below that is Navigator, which quickly allows you to go to the different sections and components in MetaTrader 4. And below that is the trading terminal, where you will place and manage all of your trades. This is actually a very easy section to use, and we're going to go into a little bit more detail on that in just a few minutes. In the center window is where you'll see your charting. MetaTrader 4 opens with four charts, and you can very quickly select to one larger chart. To go back to all four, you'll press this button right here, the Restore button. Let's go into detail now on the buttons and features available in your MetaTrader. First off, by selecting File, you can add new charts. You can save profiles. And you'll notice here I have a Sean profile saved. This allows me to come back at any point in the future and have my charts exactly the way I like to look at them. Simply do that by selecting Save As. You can also save MetaTrader as a picture. So if you want to save a certain symbol or pair or maybe something you're seeing in the market, you'll just simply save it as a picture. This is also good if you want to save it and send it to a friend or use it for future reference. Below that, is the open an account button. You'll want to select this to start your new demo account. Let's open this now. To create a new demo account, you're going to notice the open an account box will pop up. You'll add your information in here. You can add the leverage, which is the rate that you would like to trade at, either at 1 to 200 or 1 to 100 and so on. Typically for many accounts, you'll use 1 to 200. And for standard accounts, you'll use 1 to 100 leverage. You can also select how much currency you'd like to start trading with in your virtual account. We'll leave it at the standard 5,000. You'll want to agree to subscribe to newsletters and select Next. Select Next again. And here is your login and password. Put these in a safe place because you'll need to use these over and over again each time you want to open your demo account. Very simple and very easy to get a demo account in MetaTrader 4 with FXDD. We'll press finish. Further down in file are your printing features. And as always, you can print anything you see on the screen. In the next tab over, view, Languages, MetaTrader is available in a number of different languages. We'll keep it in English for this tutorial, but you may want to put it into something different if you're more comfortable speaking a different language. Below that in view are the different toolbars, which you can add or deselect. You can also add and remove your market watch bar, your data window, your navigator, terminal, and strategy tester from your software. This is also especially helpful if you accidentally delete a component and you want to re-add it. In the Insert tab, this is where you can add all of the different technical indicators and oscillators to your charts. There are a number of excellent line tools, channel tools, Fibonacci tools, and different shapes and arrows that you can add right to your MetaTrader. We'll go into these in detail in just a little bit when we go to the charting section. In the Charting tab, this is where you can control all functions of your charts. Now the three things you want to look at closely here are if you want to use a bar chart, a candlestick, or a line chart. 
you can also adjust the time frames that you'll be looking at in your charts. The more active a trader you are, the more likely you are to use shorter time frames. If you're more of a swing or position trader or someone who likes to trade on a longer term basis, you'll probably be looking at the four hour daily, weekly, and monthly charts. You can also add grids to your charts and auto scrolling. It's also possible with MetaTrader, and this is very handy to be able to scroll in and out of different sections of your charting. You'll notice the zoom in and zoom out feature. Let's go in and take a closer look at the properties tab. Now I'm going to click on properties. You can also press F8 and this will bring up the property control. It will change or adjust all of the different characteristics of your chart. Now you'll notice we had Euro versus US dollar highlighted so it pulls up all of the different adjustments for that one chart. Let's just say you'd prefer using a light gray background. You can go in and do this and you'll notice your chart will turn to a light gray color. Let's switch it back to black. You can change colors of bars, candles, line graphs, uh, and your stop and limit levels. Maybe we wanted our stop levels at an orange color instead of red. I'll switch them back to red. You can select OK when you have what you like. There are also color schemes that come pre-configured in MetaTrader. We wanted to use yellow on black or black on white. To go back to the standard settings or the defaults, we'll just press Reset and OK. This is an extremely handy section of your software and it allows you to customize the look and feel of MetaTrader 4 to exactly what you want to use to feel comfortable when you're trading. In Tools, this is where we can select a new trading order. You can also press F9. I'll click this for just a second. You can see your chart with your buying and selling pricing. You're able to select different currencies, the amounts you'd like to trade, your stop loss and your limit order, and your type of execution. We'll go into detail, further detail on this section in just a couple minutes. For now, let's look at one more section in tools, and that is options. Options brings up a number of advanced customizations. In the first section, server, this is where you can change your login and password once you switch to a real account. I'd also like to pull up events, and in the events section, you can enable different sounds in MetaTrader. The default setting is that these are deactivated. If you'd like to have different sounds, you can simply enable them. In the Windows tab, you can change the look and feel of the way your charts are laid out. As an example, you can add a new window. You can cascade your charts, and we'll do that now. Let's press Cascade, and you'll notice that all of your charts are laid out. To remove cascading, we'll simply go back to tiling vertically, and we'll see all four charts back in order. In the next section, Help, you can get advanced help topics on using your MetaTrader. You can also have access to the MetaTrader 4 community. Let's select help topics. You'll notice the tutorial for the software pops up and you can actually go through and read this tutorial when you've got a bit of free time. Maybe you wanted to learn about different order types and you can do so here in the tutorial. It's very helpful and easy to understand. Let's start looking at the commonly used buttons. These are the buttons in the second row down that are graphical. You'll find these buttons are used, once you actually know what they are, you'll tend to use these a lot more because they're the more day-to-day -day or commonly used buttons. And so the first one here is adding a new chart. We'll simply select that and we can pull up a different chart that we may not have on the screen yet. We can pull up US dollar versus Canadian. And you'll notice it'll drop in a full-size chart of the US dollar versus the Canadian. We can remove that now. 